Okay then, for this first question, what I've done is taken the table, written down the summary statistics we're given, and so we're asked to find these two statistics, SXX and SXY. And you should be familiar with these, okay, but if not, generally they're given in the formula book, okay, so you could look them up, but I would encourage you to learn them. And I'd always learn SXY because from that you can take SXX. Look, I'll show you. SXY is defined as sum of sigma XY minus the sum of X multiplied by the sum of Y all divided by N, the number of values that you've got in your table. And when you've got this, to get SXX, all you've got to do is replace any Y over here with an x. So you're going to get sigma xx or sigma x squared, then minus sigma x times another sigma x, which is sigma x all squared, and that's divided by n. And to work these out then, all we've got to do is just substitute the various values here into these two formulae. So when we do the first one then, we're going to have 188 minus 41 all squared over the number of values that we've got here which amounts to 10. So just divide that by 10 and that works out to exactly 19.9. And if you do the second one here, SXY, substitute the various values in, you're going to have 1818.5 for sigma xy minus 41 then multiplied by 406 and that's divided by 10. And if you do that you find that you get exactly 153.9. So nice easy question there, just basic substitution then into the formulae.